Hi guys, how are you? My name is Mark Jologi Mugai. I am an online tutor. I make online tutorial videos. My YouTube channel is official Mark Mugai. Please subscribe. And you can also like my page on Mark Mugai, Facebook page on Mark Mugai. Please subscribe. Don't miss it. So good morning students, thank God again for another chance God has given us. Again I want to show you another make past paper question that uh, is uh, in our application. Again I don't have I don't have the soft the hard copy but I have the soft copy. This is an app, we call it mechanical module past papers. This is for engineering students pursuing diploma in engineering and especially mechanical engineering. We have all manner of past paper questions from engineering mathematics one to engineering drawing. But in this tutorial, I will focus on this neck past paper question. As you can see, it is on tangency. We have to draw neck demands that we draw this. It says that shows a figure of a rocker arm. Construct the profile showing your construction work clearly, 14 marks. As you can see, now if you have done this 14 marks, and done a couple of other questions there you see you will have you will be able to actually now finish it off and finish your exams but uh, let us now draw this so the 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 very first thing that you do as a as an engineering drawing student you must also have a reference line you can draw your own reference line very much correctly like that after you've obtained your reference line have obtained a reference line like that the next thing you, you your reference line you will now identify a reference point to go in the reference line identify a reference reference point so maybe let us decide that our reference point will be at this particular junction will be at this point then you are told from this point we are told that we have two circles one has a diameter of 80 and the other one has a diameter of 40 so using your your, using again your, your specifications you can measure now uh, you measure the diameter for 40 that is the radius of 40 use the radius of 40 just be careful and you will see how simple these questions are that is the 40 so starting from this particular point like this again now draw your measurements like that so you can draw your measurements like that so that is the first the second circle you're told that it has a radius of 40 so it has it uh, i mean it has a diameter of 40 so it has a radius of 20. again measure from this particular point in time again 20 like that then standing again from the center point you can now draw your That way you have now begun to earn points and earn marks. The next thing that we are told, we are told that that um, the distance from here to here to get another another circle here and another another two circles here. The distance we are told from this point to the center point of that it is 56. So using your ruler, you will measure 56. You will measure 56 properly. So first you can decide to maybe broaden this uh, your work properly like that. So you can measure your 56. You're told that to measure 56 from here to here. So using your ruler, you can turn it like this, then measure 56 from this particular point. So this is our zero and measure our 56 from this particular point. So from that point you're told it is the center point. So again using your, your, your ruler like this, draw a line like that. So after you've drawn a line like that, you're told from here to here is 56. But again from this point to this point, we go at another distance. We'll have to travel another distance of 55 centimeters. So you measure 55 centimeters from this 56 point, measure another 50. 
5 cm very much correctly also from here so from here again you measure your 55 so 55 will be at this particular point at that point so from this point we can now maybe draw a straight line uh, at the bottom of it like this now you can draw a straight line using construction slide so from this point here we are told that we can draw two circles one having a diameter of 36 and the other one having a diameter of 18 so using the radius of uh the radius of of 18 first use the radius of 18 that is 1.8 at this particular point like this this 1.8 we stand at this particular point here like this at this middle point like this then we now draw a first circle. We now draw a first circle like that. Then after after that you draw the second circle, you're told it is it has a diameter of 18, so it has a radius of 0 0.9. So from this point, again measure correctly 0 0.9 at that particular point. Again standing at this uh, juncture. Again at this juncture now draw a 0 0.9. So here we have, we have obtained that, those two circles. Then we are also told there is another circle down here. There is another circle down here. So we are told that from this center, from the center of this circle and the center of the other two circles here, it is a, has a distance of 75, uh, has a distance of 75, uh, 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 of 75 millimeters or 7.5 centimeters. So you measure 7.5 centimeters on your ruler because you have to convert the millimeters into centimeters then at that particular point that point from that particular point again now you have to draw another line uh, 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 another line passing like that so we are told from this particular point we have two circles one has a diameter of 14 and the other one has a diameter of 30 so again using your ruler using your, your, your measurements measure 1.5 centimeters to draw the one that has a diameter of 30 like this that is 1.5 centimeters standing at this particular point again you strike you draw your, your circle like that then the second one we are told it has a diameter of 14 so it has a radius of 0 0.7 so again trace your 0 0.7 on your ruler it is at that particular point again from this juncture now you can draw it like this like that so you have been able to achieve this but we are told there is a curve here there's another curve here and there's another curve here but here we have a straight line joining this so at this particular point again you first draw the straight line joining this tangentially tangentially joining this point and this other point like this so first we have achieved that the other one you're told there is a curve here and there is another curve here and there's another curve here here the concept of curves intersecting internally and externally is very much important and we all know when two circles intersect externally you know very well what you, you you only have to add but when they intersect internally you have to minus the two radiuses so the radius of the curve you first take the radius of the curve you're told that from a point here we have to draw a radius of this curve and the radius of this curve from this point you're told it is 50 but it is intersecting this curve this this bigger circle of 80 diameters or, or radius of 40 and the other one for radius of 18 so as it is it, it, the curve will start text in both the both it will intersect externally so here we have to add so because when you have if you will have to finish the curve it will be an external circle and this will be an external circle so where they touch it will be an external uh, 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 intersection so if it is an external intersection you add so the radius here we know very well you are told that it is 30 the radius is 18 and the radius of the curve from this particular point we are told it is 50 so you will say 50 plus 18 what you get you get your answer it will be 68 so again using your 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 your, your compass stand again from the zero point to the 6.8 centimeters where is it this is the 6.8 
centimeters from this point to this point. That is six point eight. Using now the 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 where you use the point, the center which you drew this eighteen, this eighteen uh, uh, the the radius of eighteen from this point here, you strike an arc at that particular point like that. Then that curve has touched this point, but it has not yet touched this point. So we want to look where it will be located at this particular point when it touches this point. So we know that it will touch externally. So we will have to add where we know that the radius, the radius, not the, the diameter, the radius of this, it is 40. So and the, and the curve itself, it is 50. So you will say 40 plus 50. What do you get? You get that the answer will be 90. So if the answer is 90, you again stand from the zero point like this. Again, pro, uh, project it up to the 90 point like that. You see the 90 that you have achieved. Using the center point which you used to draw this 40 radius, this was the point that which we used. Again, strike an arc like that. So where they intersect at this particular point, this is the area of concern. So from that particular point, we know that the radius of the curve that is to touch is to be 50. So measure 50 from this point again like this. So this is the 50. Using that same 50 now you can stand from this particular juncture like this and then stroke it up that is touching both. Like that. Like that. As you can see very well, they are touching both. That is the first curve. Then we have another curve at this point and another one at this point. So let us first draw this. This one, this curve, you are told that the radius, the radius of the curve is supposed to be 25. And it is touching this radius of 40 externally. So the same concept which you have used up here, you will say, if they are externally, you will say 40 plus 25. That will be 40 plus 25. What will be answer? Your answer is 65. So using again your ruler and your compass stand here. And measure your 65 which is 6.5 at this particular point using the center point which you drew this curve this for 40 radius again on this point make a mark draw a straight and arc like that you also told that it's supposed to touch this curve this one that is for 30 uh, that is for 15 the radius is 15 so it is supposed to touch externally so you say 15 plus uh, the radius, is, the arc is supposed to be 25 plus 25, it will be 40. So again, using your ruler, stand here and measure 40 centimeters on your, or 4 centimeters, like that. Using the 4 centimeters, using the center which you used to draw this, uh, 15, again, from this point, you make a mark. Where they intersect at this point, that's where we will use and stand. So we know that the arc is supposed to be 25, so you measure 2.5 centimeters at that particular juncture like that so standing from this particular point again now join your mark like this very much correctly so we have been able to achieve this curve and this curve the next curve that you're supposed to draw is touching at this particular point using the same concept now the curve that is supposed to touch here we are told that the radius is, is 110 if the radius is 110 10. but we see that this curve that will touch here it will not touch externally because if you complete the circle the circle will be inside this other circle so here you will always do what you will always minus it is internally the arc forms internal arc to form internally with this first and the also this one so at this particular point you will say you know very well you minus so you'll say 110 minus what is the arc for this what is the radius for this it is 40 minus 40 what will be the answer? The answer is 70. So using your again, your ruler again, stand here and measure your 77 centimeters at this particular point. Standing at where you used to draw this 40, again, we know very well that it is coming from this side and draw an arc from that particular point. Then we know that the arc also, the 110 arc is supposed to, 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 to form an internal arc from this particular point. So this one, we know that the radius is 15. So you will say 110 minus 15. 110 minus 15. What is the answer? The answer is 95. So again, using your ruler, measure 9.5 centimeters. Again, like this. Very much correctly. After you've gotten your 9.5 centimeters again, from this particular point here, now strike an arc like this. Where they intersect with this curve here at this particular point. So you will use. So again, 
take your measurements of 110, which is the same as 11 centimeters, like that. With that 11 centimeters standing at this particular point, where they intersect like this, now you can now stretch your back like this. As you can see very well, that is so much correct. So we have been able to achieve all those curves very much correctly. So from this point to this point, we've been able to achieve this. This is the radius of 110. So from this point to this point, we've been able to achieve this. This is the radius of 25. Then from this point, we've been able to draw this at the point here, which this is the radius of what? The radius of 50. 50. And we know very well that the internal radius, this is the internal radius and the external radius. So the internal radius from this point to this point, we know that the, that we are told that the diameter, that the diameter here, the diameter here for the external one, we are told it is 36, but the diameter for the internal, we are told it is 18. We also know that uh, from this point, again, to this point, like this, here and here. Here we are told that the diameter is 40. We are told that the diameter is 80. You can see very well, like that, after you label your work. And we have this also here from this particular juncture, this one, and we also have this one. So this one, we are told that the, that the diameter here, we are told it is equals, equals to 14 and this one and this one the diameter is equals to 30. Is equals to 30. So when drawing these curves the only thing that you're supposed to do and the only thing that you need to be careful with it is now to know where the curve which you're supposed to draw how does it form is it forming internally or externally then after it has formed internally or externally what do we do with the internal curves or external curves we add or we subtract. We know very well with the external curves, very well. When a curve is forming externally with the other, that one you must add. But when it is forming internally, that one you know very well you must minus. So after you've been able to identify this, that important point, now you'll be able to draw and do this question. This was 14 marks. 14 marks, you have it on your pocket and you finish your work very well. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will show you more on these tangential questions. I've already done more, so please subscribe. This is for module one questions. Due to public demand, they demanded that I also do some questions on past paper. I'm only doing past paper questions so that I can guide you in your revision. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and God Almighty may he bless you. Amen.